let's start building something. Why not start with what we're looking at right now, which is customizing the home page. In order to do that, we're going to edit some views. We're going to go to resources slash views where the views, if you could possibly believe it, are contained. And we're going to look at two files. The first is the layout, this layout.antlers.html. And in the layout file is everything you want, all of the markup that should be on every page request for the site. This usually contains the head tag, the closing body tag, maybe a navigation or some, the footer could be in here. Basically those, the elements that are on every single page. Next is the individual entry template. And that is injected to where you see template content. In this particular case, the default is gonna load the home template. And this is what you see over here in the browser, this kind of landing page, this placeholder page. You're looking at it right here. So if we deleted this and we just said, hello world, and refreshed, you're gonna see hello world. Now let's see how we know that this is the template being used, right? I, I know that because it's the default, but you wouldn't know that. Let's jump into the control panel, go to collections, and every fresh install of Statomic contains this empty or this nearly empty pages collection. In here, there's a home page, and that home page has just a little bit of content in it. It has the title, it has this welcome to your new Statomic website, and it has the template, which is picked and set to home. So if we wanted to change that template, we could come into views and make a new one called new for lack of anything more creative. We could put, this is the new template. We're gonna go back to the control panel, refresh, Pick the new template, save, refresh, and this is the new template. So let's take this a little bit further. Let's pull some dynamic content onto the page. Back to the control panel, the homepage template, or sorry, the homepage entry, and let's change this content and show it on the page. We're making a screencast right now exclamation mark because of the excitement that I have. All right, we're gonna save. Uh, if you hit this drop down right here, you can hit continue editing as the after save action. If you do that, we're gonna stay on the page. It's not gonna bring you back to that list. And it'll remember that every time you come back, we have to save over and over and over again, or you can hit command S and that will also save the entry. All right, come back to the home page. If we refresh, nothing happened. We haven't changed the view file yet, so you wouldn't expect anything to happen jump back into our code editor and let's replace this is the new template with a content variable. Refresh, we're making a screencast right now. So now we're pulling that, the contents of that content variable onto the page. So if we come back in here and we bold this and then maybe we add a link, you can watch it here. You can make a link to YouTube. Hit save, come back and refresh. There we go. Ta-da. Okay, so we have dynamic content. We have a home page. we have a new template, or we can switch that back to the home because it is the home page. And here is where we're gonna start customizing. Let's keep it real simple and just put the name of the page and the content below it and refresh. Well, that looks dumb. Let's take a little bit more control of our template and go to the layout and get rid of this center flex item justify center uh, area and keep it a little bit more simple. Okay, now we can move that, that kind of markup here do max width 2XL, we'll center that. We'll add some horizontal padding. Actually, let's just add padding all the way around. Bold that, add some bottom margin. 
Let's see what happens. There we go, a really basic page.